I'm just going to walk up to the 2,000 year old small Iron Age hill fort. It's a bit of a diversion. I really want to come up here another day really, but I thought I'm so close not to just pop up onto the top here for a minute. Look at the views. No wonder they had hill forts up like this. So, this is, this is instead of climbing up on top of the piney slides. Avalon all along here, the Somerset Levels, Nyland Mound, Brent Knoll, behind the trees you've got Crook's Peak. We just quickly go up. I was going to try and come in from the other way but um, I couldn't find there was lots of fencing up. I think there is a walk here I want to do where you can walk down through that wood something I'll keep for another day but I just want to get up here a minute I don't really like climbing up and down these hills but uh, oh. this is the circular Iron Age hill fort here 2,000 year, years old apparently with very commanding views There is some literature on the plaque back there. I couldn't just... Right, here we've got like a rampart. They said there were some visible ramparts. Here's one going along there. Going down. So I'm going to flip this one round. I'm going to follow this one round. I've just had a piece of chocolate. So that's the only thing I've eaten, apart from a couple of sweets. I'll have another piece in a minute. So I'm following this rampart around. I'm going to come back here, by the way, on a sunny day. But there's loads and loads and loads of animals and cows being here. Loads. And recently, and recently, they might still be here. I don't know yet. Loads of evidence of cow. All this has been churned up by cows. But all these humps and bumps, it could have been a bit of mining. But I'm following the, the circle. There's a bit in the middle as well. I'm actually on the rampart. If you look back, you can see I'm on the rampart. I wanted to do it. I thought, well, it's not raining. I've got a little bit of rock with some uh, colour placker on it. Cowlet. And all this is, uh, see a little round indentation there. But I'm actually walking around the top of the settlement. That looks quite recent, doesn't it? They could still be around, that's what I'm saying. The cows could still be here. Right, so there's the cottage, and there's the cops. I was over the other side, I wanted to walk this way. But, uh, what happened was, um, <sighs> there was a lot of fencing. I, just, I thought, well, I just walk, go leave it for today. But then I thought, no. Just go and have a quick look. I'm not climbing up the slides today. I'll be straight down into Cheddar. I might have to get a later bus today. There's another little feature that cut out. And we're still going round, folks. We're still going round. And it's very... been churned up by the cows a lot. So you wouldn't think they'd... Um, 
They probably don't do any damage to cows, they might just turn the turf over. It's not like you're having a tank. I watched this archaeology program last night, based on Salisbury Plain, and it just showed the damage that some of the, over the years, the tanks have done. They've crushed skulls, because sometimes people aren't buried very deep in these Saxon burials and that. So there we are, they're still going round, look, it's still going round, can you see? I'm going to go back round like that. Just doing a bit of videoing as I go. Just doing a bit of an Earlier one of the curtains was uh, shut at the top of that cottage, it's just open now. Look at that, that big circle there, look. What I'll do when I get home, I'll look it up online. Look at that. That's a definite big round thing, isn't it? You know what I mean? Let me take some photos. 